Welcome back to the Carol Gallery and the celebration of our 50th anniversary of now Cape May Mac. One of the things that we started up that I think we are most proud about and also the most grant friendly is our Cape May Music Festival. This was an idea that came from Norris Clark. Norris, uh, a grandson of the rather famous uh, Reverend Carl McIntyre of Cape May 60s fame, uh, is the a brother of Charity Clark, uh, a known realtor in town, and a cousin of Curtis Bashall of uh, Congress Hall. Three people that have done an awful lot to work for the Cape May Renaissance. Norris has also been deputy mayor of Lower Township. And as of yesterday, I called him and said, when I take this show tomorrow, can I say that you're returning to the Board of Trustees for MAC? And after a little bit of laugh, he said, I think you got me trapped, don't you? <laughs> but he did agree. So Norris will be back on our board and kind of making a full circle of being a, one of our very early uh, enthusiastic members, going off to other things, coming back to help us with our web design and our uh, new logo, and now coming back on the board. But Norris came up with the idea of let's try to bring music concerts back to Cape May. We have had these concerts in many different locations, starting out with the wonderful big library room at the Christian Admiral Hotel, now long gone. We moved into the dining room of Congress Hall Hotel. We've had them in both the new and old convention hall. The old convention hall was certainly an acoustic challenge, and we even got a special grant to build baffles to put behind the orchestra to help direct the music from the front of the stage all the way out properly to the audience. It worked a little bit, but if you were in the back rows of Convention Hall, it was not very successful. We did have a famous concert there where I know we had far too many people in that building and probably gave it a structural test when Mary Wilson of the Supremes came to entertain us, but they were all really well done. I do remember in introducing one of the concerts, I got a little tongue tie, which I tend to do as you probably noticed, and I couldn't remember the name of the person I was supposed to introduce. So I said, and this person needs no introduction. Well, he came out and kind of said, I know you forgot my name, but I did that too once when I couldn't remember the name of my drummer when I was trying to introduce my orchestra members. So he let me off the, book, the war, <laughs> let me off the hook in actually a very, very kind way. Now our concerts have included all types of music, uh, not to compete with the jazz festival, but, but, but all, all men with jazz music. We've had orchestras, chamber ensembles, uh, uh, um, the uh, Celtic music, klezmer music, and of course the Atlantic Brass Band. Some of these concerts have also been in the many churches of Cape May. We've used the Episcopal Church, the Presbyterian Church, uh, the Methodist Church, uh, the Baptist Church, and uh, I only remember one in the Catholic Church, uh, but that uh, also added to our many, many venues throughout the town. This year the music festival is a little bit different. We always would schedule the music festival in the, uh, <clears throat> the, the last of May and early June, and there was a pretty good reason for that. People were starting to come to Cape May. It was a way to extend the season, but it also gave us uh, housing and places to feed these very large groups of, uh, of people coming down to entertain us. And the pictures you are seeing are some of the promotion pictures that we use to sell it. The, uh, the, the band assembled at the Physica State behind a lifeboat on the beach. And of course, my favorite is when they all posed on the porch of the main state. And so that one is in my personal, personal collection of favorites. You'll notice the croquet mallets and things they're handling as well as uh, musical instruments. The music festival this year is changing because of the pandemic that we're in, and we are moving it to many different times throughout the year, which we hope will be able to continue, even with the brass band coming when we light up the Christmas tree. Some people said, gee, I am not in Cape May all those times of years, 
But others have said, you know, I really kind of like that, that it's spread out. So that if I have travel arrangements at one of those, uh, I can still attend many more. So with a, a little bit of good luck, we will continue the music festival this fall. But for many of you who've made major donations to it, I assure you that money stays in the music festival account and we'll be able to do even a better job in the future. So for those of you who have given, I thank you for your generosity. Before I go, I brought another walking stick and cane to uh, uh, show off today. I had some very nice reactions from my gun cane that I showed you during uh, two lectures ago. Uh, I, I really only heard from one person, but you know, since I'm running for president again, again this November, uh, president of Mac, I guess it's okay to stretch the truth just a little bit. So I brought a wonderful cane that I also picked up in England. And since we're talking about music, operas, plays, this also worked together as, a, uh, as an opera glass, at least for one eye. It's a beautiful brass head on it, an ebony stick. And I took it to one of the Mac appraisals that we used to do and still do. And he said, it's worth probably $450. Now, those of you who collect antiques know that uh, the, the value of antiques has gone down significantly. So I'm kind of doubtful that that would be a true figure now. I look forward to having you join me again next week as we move on to one of the other great activities of Mac. And I want to thank all of you who have supported the music festival over the years and will continue to do so, I hope. Thank you.